Good morning, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. What are we doing this morning? Going back in time. A rather beautiful YZF, or as we know, Thundercat. And not the cartoon that was out in the 80s. Thunder, 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 Thundercat. What was the short, plump cat called? The irritating one. Moving on. Thundercat, Yamaha's Thundercat. 600 cc's of roaring power. Where did this come from? Well, it was a progression from the FZR 600s, the Delta Box system. For me, back in the late 80s, early 90s, these were the bikes you really, really wanted. Fast, good looking, the new style as it were. Now, the progression to the R6 was simple. FZR 600, 91 brake horsepower, but it weighed a whopping 208 kilos. They then brought out the Thundercat. Standard, 100 brake horsepower and they lopped a lot of weight off of it and got it down to an impressive 187 kilos. So faster and lighter. And this is it here. Sometimes just have no words, just look. <laughs> of course, they then moved on to the R6, which we all legendary know. Now the early R6s were 108 brake horsepower, and again they locked off a lot more weight at 163 kilos. They are fast bikes, I have to say. However, the modern R6, 2017, is 116 brake, but they've put it on steroids a little bit, and it's now back up to 190 kilos. Less torque than the early R6, but faster. Yeah, a bit difficult. But, Thundercat. You may notice this doesn't look standard either. And I'm not talking about the uh, slightly pinkish stubby levers. Or the uh, pink indicators. Yes. And I have no idea why they put these bolts. They look ugly. I mean really ugly. E uh, yeah, I'm just not going to carry on with that. Anyway, I'm talking about the elephant in the room. Actually, the flames. I actually quite like them. From the front, she's starting to show her age. Um, you know the single light was around about... And this, this girl is an R-Reg, so that's 1997. She is 21 years old. Now, these flames, I had a rocket. Triumph Rocket 2.3 litre. Oh, my God. The reason why they call them rocket is, realistically, you just go straight. And hopefully not to your death, but they like going straight. From any angle, this framework isn't too bad. Now, you know what's happened. Yeah, Micron exhaust, good old Microns. A little bit of scratching here. And a uh, tail tie sign. This bike, at some time its life, has been over. You know what they've done? They bought another panel set. Not bad, I, I have to say. I actually really like it. I'm not sure about the uh, red butt. Um, obviously, the original colours, I'm guessing, would have been um, the silvery colour they had on these. However, what they like to ride, you're not so down as you are on the R6s, so you, and you're not something big like the Versus, but it's a comfortable riding position, even with these off-the-market mirrors. Which actually don't look too bad, if I'm really honest with you. Yes, the old dated clocks, again, it is 21 years old, so... No fandangled LCD and LED and so on. Just your very basics. But do you know what? That's all you needed in them days. Adjustable. Good old choke. And again, adjustable pink-ish levers. I think I'd have gone for a different colour, but I can see what he was doing. Does have heated grips. I'm not sure if they work. Important crash bungs. Now, this one here is scratched, but this side hasn't been over. Well, this side, as we know, has been over, not scratched. Do you think he might have swapped them around? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, what does she sound like? What does she run like? To be honest with you, I've been out on her. Sounds very nice. The Micron Exhaust doesn't sound too bad either. This one has been played with. I'm not just talking about the Micron Exhaust. In here is a Kevlar clutch. Down there, I think you can all see k and filter. So it's got your k and air filter, and it's gonna have a nice Avenger K lithium plugs. Tires are though dirty, are new. These are 180s, nice set of Pirellis. 
and then have a new one in the front. I definitely check now whether the tyres after my last bike of the Versus are the same, and these are. As I said, she's getting old, you know. That's wax in there on the rear suspension. Jury's still out with his old Scott oilers. I don't love them, and this person's just folded it up. Well, not very uh, nicely, but folded it up. Size of the rear sprocket. I mean, that is a pretty big girl there, isn't it? Now, the key on all early bikes, and I must admit, these are no better. The Yamaha's are notorious. You know, you really have to wiggle this key to get it to do anything. A little bit of choke, clutch in. <laughs> Remember the little warm up before you do that. So while she's warming up, yeah. go very well. So this has been tuned to 115 brake, it's been on a dyno jet, track, rolling road thingy, so I know it's chucking out 115. This old girl will keep up with, well, the new one really, 116 brake. Hasn't got the same sort of braking capacity and, and torque and so on, but does she go for a 20 year old girl? Yes she does. If you watched my ZX6R video, same sort of spec, same sort of brake horsepower, good, good run for your money. So really enjoyable. But sometimes, as I said, it's just nice to uh, have an old bike like this. I wouldn't mind taking it to a show or riding down the road. Tell me about the old Delta Box system. That was uh, really fresh in the 80s. I suppose if you modernise it a little bit, you can tell these panels aren't quite right, you know. And again, I don't know what these pink bolts are. Because of the rear light, if you stuck an LED rear light in there, if you get the right shape, it would look much more modern. But all round, a nice slow look round her. And uh, she's very nice, easy to work on. Very, very basic servicing plugs. There's gonna be a few little cracks and a few little scrapes. And here, you've got to expect it on an old bike. But does she look nice? Hell yes. So even the sun had to come out, just so you could look round her. That's a 21 year old. I have to say, paint job still looks very nice. It's what I'm saying about the crash bung. You can see someone swapped it over. And again, a few little cracks. But I said, she's 21 years old. If I'm lucky enough, I might even strap a camera to me and take her out for a ride. A nice look round her, warts and all I guess they say. How much you'd expect to pay for one of these little babies? This is 2018 October, 21 year old model. They go between this time of year, seven to a thousand pounds. Um, in the summer, a really good one. You can fetch money depending on what people want to pay for them. 15, I've seen 17.95 before. But this one, good grand's worth. Nice little upgrades, but she's got good and bad bits. I think the good well outweigh the bad bits of a few scratches here and there and a few cracks. You can take the panels off and you can heat glue them from the other side and leave a little line there. Good bit of spit and polish, this bike looks lovely. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of the history of them, a nice look round the bike, and the basic specs. Seat heights and everything else goes up and up, as you know. This is a nice, comfortable bike, 5'8", nice for me. The newer ones are getting higher and higher, shorter, lighter, heavier, you name it. But for this one, nice ride. Check out my other videos, there's lots on here now. Sports bikes, touring bikes, uh, me riding, doing vlogs, even a load of mopeds as well, which I started from. Like, share, subscribe, take care of yourselves on the road.